Yeah, today's about uh, launching our Pacific Island Player Network and um, it's fantastic to see everybody obviously, you know, we're, we're very passionate about you know, supporting all our players in Super League and Championship and, and all our stakeholders in the game and this is a massive part of that. It's been tough, it's been tough for a lot of people and a lot of, um, you know, the players and partners and families that haven't been able to go home for Covid and, you know, it's close season now and, you know, this is a, a fantastic opportunity to, for everybody to get together, you know, have a chat. Um, you know, have a have a feed, and you know, just discuss you know things with, with like-minded people as well. So as a as a sport, I think we can be, be really proud of, uh, of what we're doing. Yeah, it's just a, a celebration of the year. We obviously we used to do these years ago, and um, we're looking at uh, getting the boys back together and uh, celebrating the season. But you know, then we're also going to look um, at doing another one in the start of the year. Uh, education um, and introduction one of the all the new uh, Pacific Island boys who are coming over so it's important we do these these because you know you, you these boys it's all good and new for them sometimes when they come and when it gets dark nights at three in the afternoon after they've settled in um, you know it can get a bit depressing so we what we want to do is let them know that there's a big family of us here and, and we're all together so it all came about when um, Mossy went down and I went to see him in the hospital and as I said to Carissa's wife, um, you know, if you need anything just contact the, the RFL and at the time I was vice president um, and she was like, well, you know, we don't really like to put anyone. I said, well, just ask me, I, I'm RFL and, and as it turned out, she didn't have to um, ask me for anything because Steve Ball and the cares and everyone else at the, uh, the RFL looked after them really well which you know we really appreciate uh, that and we thank you for, the, for doing that for Mossy. Um, so we now want to sort of look after our own and, and put something in place where our people know that who they need to contact or who they can contact. There's myself as the chairman, uh, there's Fekka, there's Kylie and uh, Willie Po Ching's involved so that's the team um, and we'll work alongside the Rugby League Cares and and do everything we can to uh, look after our own. Well, I, I came and uh, it was a, um, a, a, an early November morning, it was dark, we had Gary Hamilton come picking up from Manchester Airport, and I've never experienced snow before, you know, it was 8 o'clock, it's still pitch black, uh, and I remember going along the, the pen lines, it took us honestly three hours to get home, um, traffic was horrendous. At that time, I understand now that that's the way it is on M62, but um, it took us three hours to get in. Uh, and I remember my wife, the exact wife, words of my wife was, um, we're only doing our three years and we're out of here. <laughs> Not staying any longer. But you know, 12 years later, we're still here, you know, so after so 15 years I've been there. Um, but really enjoyed our time. Um, it takes a while to get set on. I think the lifestyle, the weather, plays a lot of, uh, makes, a, makes a huge difference. But it's one of those, you know, you've got to uh, embrace the culture embraced the weather. Uh, wearing wearing more jackets, wearing a beanie, gloves. Get your kids out there and enjoy the the uh, the environment because you know you're never going to experience this again. You know when you, you can always move back to New Zealand or Australia or wherever you're from, um, and the weather doesn't get like this. So embrace it. It's a great place to live. Um, didn't know too much about what was going to happen, but you know there's. Big crew here now, a lot of all our Pacific Island boys from back home, so nah, it's awesome man, awesome for us to have a uh, get together over here. And so a lot of us have like played together back home, so we always like meet up outside, but nothing like this where, you know, everyone from, from every different club and mate, even like uh, Misty Talapapa, um, I remember mate, I was 15, would have been 15, 16 watching him in the NRL play for Cronulla Sharks and I've never ne met him before, never met Missy, but uh, man, it's awesome to turn up and Missy's here and to be able to, you know, meet Missy, you know, meet him in person. I was a bit starstruck, you know, I'm sure he'll be a bit embarrassed by that, but I was a bit starstruck to turn up and, you know, be able to meet uh, Missy Talapapa. A lot, we've been here for two years and ha haven't been able to go home, but, um, you know, like, we, we, we get used to it now. I think we're used to it after two years, we're used to it now, but something like this, bringing all the, all the wives and kids and all, all, that, all that sort of stuff together, mate, is, it's awesome, and, you know, 
Thank you, I just want to thank you know, whoever organised this. I know mean, Rugby League cares, had a big um, hand in it, but um, also the, the our Pacific Island guys like you know Willie Poachie and all those guys that are really and you know Fika Poliasena, uh, another bloke that I was like. 10 years old in, in, in Warrior Stadium watching him run off the back fence so to be able to come here and meet him in person mate it's man it's awesome mate I think when we first come over there there's always um, yeah a massive community of sort of like uh, Pacific Islanders and Kiwis and, and Aussies for that matter they come over and, and end up res a lot of them reside here a lot of them have been here a long time and you know, when we came over, there were guys who'd been there 20 odd years plus. Uh, but the community itself, it's nice to get together and uh, enjoy, enjoy. You know, they, they become your family, I suppose. And it, yeah, it's nice to get together and enjoy our food. You know, our traditional sort of food stuff, and, and just a good catch up, good old knees up every now and again. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fantastic to see them all come over. Uh, for me, I think it's it's fantastic. I think it's. Um, those who, who like you know can't get home to see their families uh, you've sort of got a, a family big massive family environment here and rugby league does that you know it's one big family and i think uh, a lot of the boys will know one another from playing uh, back home uh, playing together playing you know from the same area so that's nice just to catch up with the guys you know that you sort of grew up with and were, you know ex-teammates and stuff like that yeah it's fantastic these opportunities to get together Well, I think it's important for a couple of reasons. One is on the field, obviously, you know, massive amount of uh, Pacific Island talent that has visited these shores, stayed on these shores, will come back again. And many of them stay uh, long term as well. We've got a World Cup coming up next year. We know that will bring more with us and they generally bring uh, a lot of muscle, certainly do. A lot of flair uh, and, you know, they contribute massively on the field. But um, off the field as well, I think they bring they bring a lot to our communities, they bring some colour, they bring some vibrancy, they bring a massive amount of character uh, and you know we really enjoy having them here whether it be short, medium or long term so uh, huge contributors to rugby league in this country. Yeah. But in addition to that they've not been able to go home, they've not been able to visit the families, they've almost been locked in in the country for a couple of years now and, that, and that's really really tough and you know, you know, I was listening to Carl speaking there as you were as well and he reminded me actually of you know we're all we're used to this country we're used to the long nights and the dark nights and and you know the cold and, and the winter and you know many of these families aren't used to that so that adds to a kind of sense of isolation and that's why an event like today i think is massively important getting them all together showing how much we appreciate them and you know making them feel a part of that family <laughs>